Hi guys, welcome to another episode. Today we're going to talk about tips. It's a lead on from the muzzle wrap issues that guys have at times. We can solve that with the way we load as you saw in the previous video. But what happens sometimes if you fire a gun very close up into a cave for instance and the spear doesn't quite exit the gun, the line can get fouled, now you're on the bottom, especially with a real gun, that now isn't releasing. You can't get it out the cave, the fish is jammed, the water's dirty, you're now worried about losing your gun, you don't have a float line, and you can push the limits and black out. This is obviously super dangerous. So, from a safety aspect, it's always good to have plans preset in your mind what to do in certain scenarios. Under the extremities of the, the shooting the fish and struggling to get the gun out, your brain goes off. Most people don't operate well in a stressful environment. So the trick is to preempt it in advance and keep thinking about it, keep practicing it. It's something to have in the back of the mind. As soon as you're in that scenario, you know exactly what to do. So the scenario is you've shot a fish, everything's jammed up, you can't get the gun out, you slack off your drag and swim up. You just let the line feed through your hand. Because the amount of line on there is, in this case, 40 meters, if you're diving 20 meters, you'll get to the surface. So that's all you need to, to do. You're still in contact. The visibility might be very poor. You don't know where the cave is or the reef is, where your gun is stuck, but you are connected to it. Now all you got to do is get your breath back on the surface, get back down and deal with it. As I mentioned, this is something you need to preempt in your mind. Think about it a lot, play around with it. So when you're in this emergency situation, which can be life-threatening, you know exactly what to do without having to think about it. You've already practiced it. Swimming up with the line doubled. In shallow water, it's very easy. You're still connected. Obviously, if the water's clean, not a problem. Let everything go. Watch it from the surface. Get your breath back, go back and deal with it. But if the water's dirty, you can't. In a current scenario, of course, that's another extreme. You can hold yourself on the surface with this line, but at least you're still connected. You can get the boat if you're on a boat to come forward, attach a line to it, go ahead, dive down, leave a buoy on the surface. It's one way to recover your gear and stay safe. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Stick around for the next.